rolling out. All right. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Greetings. Uh, this is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. Today is a very historic day. Today, we are celebrating 20 amazing young leaders who happen to be Muslim right here in Georgia. And we are making history because this is the first time ever that anything like this has been done. Uh, we are here today through the hard work of many people that I want to thank. First, I want to Congratulate the 20 under 20 honorees. This is a huge accomplishment. So congratulations for doing what you have been doing for the last 20 years um, or almost 20 years. And we are very proud of you and keep on keeping on. And today we are going to give a brief overview to the rest of the world of how amazing you are. I wanna take this opportunity to thank the ISB board of directors and specifically Dr. Ahmed Hashem for being the sponsor of our 20 under 20. I wanna thank our amazing advisory council who have been doing a lot of work uh, selecting and to honor these amazing 12, 20 people. And I wanna thank Judy Marks. Uh, she has done so much work behind the scenes. Also wanna work, I wanna thank Cameron uh, for being our Zoom master today, making sure that we are safe and we have a very smooth uh, program. One thing that I wanna ask you all to do is to please turn off your cameras. This will allow uh, for the bandwidth on Zoom and also on Facebook Live to run smoothly. I wanna share with you all some of the things that the 20 under 20 mentioned to us about what that honor means to them. Um, we had a call with them and they said that they were honored, they were thrilled, they felt privileged and the list goes on. But one person in particular told me, she said that being honored as a 20 under 20 Georgia Muslim made me connect better to my identity as a Muslim. And that is really a uh, huge. So congratulations again to our 20 under 20. And I'm passing this over to Dr. Ahmed Hashem, who is going to um, share more with us. Thank you, Sumaya. And thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, I'm going to start with a brief prayer. Um, so if you can join me in this prayer. Oh Allah, God, purify our hearts. Guide us. Instill mercy and compassion in our hearts. Make this a blessed gathering. Make this event a blessed event. And bless the lives of the 20 honorees and of all the participants and the audience that, that is also following uh, this event. Amin. Thank you very much, everyone, again, for joining. Good afternoon. I am Ahmed Hashem, and I have the privilege of being the board of directors lead on ISB's 20 Under 20 initiative. You may have heard the cliche that young people are our future. Uh, at ISB, we believe this is only half the truth. We believe young people like you are our present. So we encourage and nurture young Muslims who are leaders and activists now and not wait for the future. That is the spirit behind the 20 Under 20 initiative. We are thrilled to be shining the spotlight on this group of young adults who are achieving spectacular success, whether at, in work or school, um, they are active leaders in their community uh, or in their extracurricular activities and who are inspiring others to have an impact. They are an example for, for others. It really wasn't an easy task to select this remarkable group, ISP's advisory council, some of whom we will meet today read through more than 70 pages of nominations, essays, stories, and resumes. Uh, the competition was fierce, but you, our first cohort of 20 under 20 Georgia Muslims, you represent the wide diversity of Georgia Muslim community. Your commitment to making the world a better place makes this uh, a really special event makes me very optimistic. I know that our future and our present is in good hands. Thanks to all of you. Each of our honorees was mailed a package with a few gifts to celebrate this recognition. 
The package includes a certificate to uh, re remember and uh, remind them of this event. Um, it is. It also includes an embossed journal with the ISB name. Um, and it includes a gift card to raise New York pizza so that we can continue the celebration with great pizza. Uh, also some information about ISB and how to stay involved in our work. A few things about today's program. After a brief introduction to ISB by a video, uh, there will be some uh, brief remarks from the chair of our board, uh, Dr. Nabil Safda. Then each of our honorees will be introduced by an esteemed leader in Atlanta. The presentations are not in any particular order. Uh, I ask that we hold all cheering and applause until the end when we will unmute everyone so that we can all loudly celebrate together uh, and congratulate the honorees. Now here is a brief video about ISP's story and then after that, there will be some remarks by Dr. Nabil Safdar, the chair of ISB's board of directors. Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta, building bridges, one interaction at a time. Developing mutual respect. Promoting inclusiveness. Breaking down stereotypes. Striving to build a future where differences in cultural, ethnic, and faith backgrounds are honored and used as building blocks in creating a dynamic society. This is ISB's Circle of Influence. ISB influences through education and outreach helping create a positive relationship between Muslims and the wider community. Cultural competency training sessions for the Woodstock Police Department. Ask a Muslim at Georgia Tech. Sumaya Khalifa highlighting how ISB serves the Atlanta community on Focus Atlanta. Amin Tome speaking at the inspiring Martin Luther King Jr. 51st Annual Commemorative Service at Ebenezer Baptist Church. ISB influences through action. Taking proactive action to improve the lives of fellow community members. Summer lunch program, distributing free lunches to children in Fayette County. A team of ISB members providing hot meals for TSA agents during the government shutdown. Unity gathering for the remembrance of the New Zealand massacre honoring the memory of the victims of the Christchurch tragedy. Ramadan Accommodation Guide for Teachers and Administrators by Principal Brian Jones of Milton High. ISB influences through building relationships. Getting to know each other through faith and interfaith interactions. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, Ramadan Iftar. Gatherings like this are a necessity not a luxury. Muslims and Jews coming together to observe and celebrate Passover for the first Jewish Muslim Seder. Sumaya Khalifa emceeing the historic swearing-in ceremony at the state capital for Sheikh Rahman to honor the first immigrant Muslim elected to the Georgia State Senate. ISB influences through leadership development training and cultivating civic leaders who create positive and constructive changes. ISB Leadership Institute's first graduate class, 22 civic leaders ready to make an impact on local and global communities. Coming together and celebrating our ongoing journey to building bridges of friendship and understanding. Serving the American Muslim and the wider communities in building bridges of understanding, creating interfaith partnerships, developing community leaders, and creating spaces for mutual understanding and respect. This is ISB's Circle of Influence. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for joining us. My name is Nabil Sufter. 
Um, and um, I've been with the ISB since 2014 when we moved to Atlanta first. When Rabia, my wife and I moved to Atlanta, we knew a couple of things. We knew Atlanta had an amazing reputation for service, for community activism, for community togetherness. And since then, we've been incredibly impressed by the greater community in Atlanta. Our window to that community has been through the Islamic Speakers Bureau. And what you saw in the video was that there is a tradition of service, of education, and of leadership development and recognition. Now, I want to be very clear about something. Humility, practicing humility, is a part of our tradition. There is a saying that someone who has even and achieved the highest uh, success of going to heaven in the Islamic tradition. Humility is what allows us to be closer to God. It allows us to be kind to other people. It allows us to be accepting of our own flaws, to be open to contrary ideas to those that we hold, to accept that we've made mistakes and to get better. But there is also such a thing as false humility. False humility is understating your talents, downplaying your gifts, downplaying and not sharing the story that you have to share with the greater world, pretending like you are not making an incredibly important contribution to your community. As I was able to review the applications and saw who the applicants were uh, for the 20 under 20 award, although I wasn't a judge myself when I saw them come through, I was so incredibly impressed by the stories, by the talent, by the skills, by the accomplishments of the group of young men and women that, that we have today. I want to tell you all, it is so important that your stories are shared. Practice humility, but understand that false humility is not going to do yourself any favors. It is not doing the community any favors. And it is a way, a false humility is a way for us to show uh, let me state it this way. False humility prevents us from showing true gratitude to our creator who's given us all these gifts. As we go forward this afternoon and hear from about all of you, I am incredibly honored, humbled to be able to meet you. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you also to all of our supporters, those of you that are on this afternoon for the program. And those that are not on that have supported the ISB through their service and their donations. With that, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm incredibly excited about the program. And I'm going to introduce Ehab Jalil. Um, Ehab, if you can come on and take it away, that would be great. Hey, everyone. Um, can you hear me, by the way? Yes. Okay, awesome. Um, so my name is Ehab Jalil. I'm the executive director for Amana Academy Charter Schools, and I'm thrilled to be here and just to have this opportunity uh, to speak um, to the 20 under 20. I'm incredibly excited about this program, and I want to really thank ISB <clears throat> for, number one, thinking about this type of a program, and then also putting it together and inviting um, really amazing young people and an audience of luminaries uh, from Atlanta uh, to be a part of it. And um, I just want to say congratulations to the 20 under 20 for this recognition. Um, and I want you to know seriously, uh, something that um, Dr. Nabil just talked about was there, you got to think about who's in the audience here. Um, there are some amazing influential people in the Atlanta area, um, leaders who are <clears throat> having an impact over the entire metro area, who are here to recognize you. Uh, they're in the audience because they're excited for you and they're taking their Sunday afternoon 
uh, because they believe in you. And um, you should be incredibly proud. Your parents, who I know are on the call as well, should be incredibly proud of the work that you're doing um, to make a difference um, in your families and in your communities. And God bless you all for, for what you do. Um, and I, I, my, my comments are gonna be really brief. Um, you know, when I was approached about giving this talk, um, it's probably because I'm such an advocate for, for youth development in general. It's something that I think keeps me young. And I know that for the other folks that are involved in youth activities and so forth, that they can they understand what I'm talking about. Um, so why did I agree to speak today? Um, partly because I've got three daughters and one of them is under 20 years old. Um, she's 19 years old. Um, she's a second year at Georgia Tech. And, um, and I, you know, talked to her a little bit about, you know, what should I say to these young people? Um, you know, usually when I speak to audiences, they're usually in, in college or like kind of in the later stage of college and, and so forth. And um, she gave me some really good advice. And, um, you know, in, in terms of um, understanding a new generation, I think it's always really good to just kind of, you know, actually get some, uh, you know, um, you know, inside scoops in a sense. Uh, but one of the things that, that, I think is incredibly important for people to realize is that we all are making an impact in our own in our own way, and I've noticed that young people nowadays are putting a lot of pressure on themselves. Um, you know, people see, especially through social media and sometimes the the general media, a young person you know that may be having global impact or national impact. And there's a feeling that, you know, we want to do it all. We want to have that kind of impact. Um, and of course, we're incredibly proud of those folks and, and, and young people, and they're an inspiration to us. But you don't have to be famous and have national influence to have an impact. Um, one of the things that I really want to stress uh, with you all is that it's just, just as impactful to stay focused using your superpower and to work on your bubble first. Um, and, you know, closer in within your schools, within your local communities, even within your families, there is so much opportunity for you to have an impact um, so that you don't become overwhelmed. The type of people that you are, you've got a lot of runway ahead of you. Uh, there's going to be opportunities throughout your life to have impact. For me, um, little impact in high school, but maybe I had more in college. And then, you know, that service mindset just continued on to, you know, my professional life. And so don't feel like you need to accomplish everything right now and to measure your impact through the number of likes and hearts and things like that that you see in social media. Um, you each have a superpower. You're probably very well in touch with what that superpower is. And my encouragement to you is to just stay focused um, and to really have an impact where you can actually see something that's sustainable, that maybe outlives you and, and you pass on to somebody else. And I think that that's probably the greatest type of impact that you can have is when you might put together a big event or an initiative or a campaign or something like that. And you teach somebody else to sustain that after you move on to the next great thing, that's when you're starting to really have um, sustaining power and so forth. So that's really my advice to you all. Um, the other thing that I would just say is you're young. Um, enjoy your youth. Um, you know, I, my personal motto is carpe diem, which means seize the day. And um, I learned it through a movie called Dead Poets Society back in the 80s. That's kind of showing my age. Um, but I love that, that motto. And <clears throat> you're still very young. Like I said, you got a lot of runway ahead of you. Take it all in. As you go to college or whatever career, if you decide to go into the military, whatever you decide to do now, take in as much as you can like a sponge. And, um, and those experiences are going to inform what you do in the future. Um, don't feel like you have to just stay focused on 
you know, one type of experience and so forth. You know, you've got every day is a new day. Um, <clears throat> don't get stuck. And like I said, seize the day. Um, and lastly, uh, something that we learned uh, through ISB actually that made an impact on me. Um, people may not remember always what you do, but they'll remember you. And so when you, when you deal with people, deal with them in, with respect, um, which is, of course, part of our faith and every other faith tradition. Um, be, be respectful of people. Um, don't worry about who gets the credit for what's done. Um, you know, make your, you know, put your fingerprints on something and then move on to the next thing. Um, I'm incredibly proud of all of you. I really thank the ISB for, you know, hosting this event, giving me this opportunity to speak to you. And just congratulations from me to all of you. And um, stay focused. You guys are, are, are going to be back in other recognitions, 30 under 30, 40 under 40, and so forth. We, we look for great things from you, all of you. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much, uh, Ahab. With that, I'd like to introduce our first uh, presenter for the awards, Jason Estevez. Thank you so much, uh, Nabil, for bringing me on and, and great words of inspiration, Ahab. Thank you uh, for, those, for those words as well. And of course, appreciation to the ISB for holding this amazing event, uh, celebrating our uh, young people that are doing amazing things and having an impact already. My name is Jason Estevez. I am chair of the Atlanta Public Schools Board of Education, and it is a pleasure for me to be here with all of you. Uh, to the honorees, uh, I can guarantee you to those of us who are above 20 years old, over 20, 20 years old, uh, y'all have accomplished way more than we did when we were uh, under the age of 20. So congratulations uh, to all of you, as you have said, uh, each one of you has a superpower, continue to hone that power, and your impact is limitless. With that being said, I am honored to uh, introduce to you two of our honorees here this afternoon. Uh, the first is an APS graduate, uh, Anaya abdul Haq, a recent abdul Haq. Uh, Anaya is a recent graduate of Grady, uh, now Midtown High School, uh, and she graduated with a weighted GPA of a 4.2. She is entering BU, Boston University, this fall. And outside of school, she volunteers with the ISB. Uh, she also volunteers with Sister United in Human Services. Uh, and she likes to attend programs at different mosques. In school, uh, she served on the drama board, has been involved with drama and chorus uh, throughout her academic life and was the parliamentarian uh, for, for Grady's Honor Society. She is particularly proud of the fact that she is a posse scholar and she loves to be active, whether it's skateboarding or writing screenplays. Yes, she's writing screenplays, amazing. Uh, Anaya hopes to continue to advocate for the homeless and to fight injustice. Congratulations, Anaya. Next, we have, uh, Harist Latif. Uh, Harist loves to be busy. He is a busy body. And he is at UGA, and in his first year, he took on much more than academics. Although he has enough credits, listen to this, to be a junior. Not only but he delivered a TED Talk, held a job, and sat on the MSA board, and was elected to the Resident Hall, Resident Hall Association Executive Board. Like I said, he's a little bit of a busybody. In high school, he took 15 AP classes, had perfect attendance, led the National Science Bowl and uh, speech and team debates. He received an AP capstone diploma and was on the varsity track and field team as well as the cross country team. And he's, he was also uh, held the position of class president. All of that during high school. Next year, uh, Harith will be the Religious Services Chair for UGA's MSA, and, and he's not done yet. He continues to stay, plans to continue to stay busy, 
uh, and will be seeking out more leadership opportunities, especially as an advocate for others in need. Congratulations, Haris. And now I call on Dr. Laura Badwan, a pediatrician in Cobb County and a member of the ISB Board of Directors to introduce our next honorees. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. Um, I'm so honored to be a part of this 20 uh, under 20 event. All of the recipients here are just so accomplished already. I can't wait to see what amazing change you guys are going to do in the future. Just in looking over all the honorees and what you've done already, holy moly, we've got a lot in store for us, and I'm so excited about that. And I'm especially excited to introduce our next two honorees. Haya Al Ahmed, formerly the president of the Muslim Student Association at Brookwood High School. Haya is currently a student at GSU. In high school, she received the AP Scholar Award and the Academic Achievement Award. In addition to being a tutor for children of all backgrounds, she committed to various green energy projects, including recycling. She has been both a participant and leader for MIST, volunteers frequently, and helps to organize and speak at halakas. While only in her second year of college, Haya got a job as a telehealth scribe at a hospital in Houston. She sees this as a great opportunity to gain clinical experience before attending physician's assistant graduate school. And trust me, we need a lot of amazing folks like you in the workforce right now. Congratulations. I'm also honored to welcome Shanze Sheikh. Shanze is well on her way to study and work in global health. Before her freshman year, her medical research was published in the Journal of Emerging Investigators. Valedictorian of the Walker School, National Merit Scholarship Finalist, U.S. Presidential Scholars Candidate, National Honor Society, Girl Scout Gold Award, Captain of the Varsity Swim Team, and so much more. There's barely an honor that she has not earned. While focused on the sciences, Shanze's interests are varied. She and her family support a school in Nalor, Pakistan, and she was president of the Model UN. Her coursework in global health at Duke has shown her that there is a need for cultural knowledge and respect to support the health rights of people around the world. I'm so proud of you both and can't wait to see what you both accomplish. Congratulations. I'm delighted to pass the honor of introducing our next two honorees to ISB Board of Directors member, Dr. Naeem Shahid, a podiatrist with a practice in Metro Atlanta and Chief of Staff for Emory Hillendale Hospital. Thank you, uh, Laura. So it is indeed an honor to be among these well-accomplished young, young Muslims. Um, as Akmad said at the beginning of our program, this is not only represents our presence, but you are our future. And there is no greater place to be currently than a young Muslim achiever in our society today. So with that, I have two um, honorees. First is Akmal, uh, Imad Iqbal. Inspired by his grandparents to work hard and give back to the community in honoring their sacrifices and accomplishments at NASA, where his grandfather helped develop a shield to protect space shields from re-entering the atmosphere. Ahmad received a National Flight Academy Program Award, which was sponsored by Delta. He is part of the inaugural class at Parkview High School, where uh, he was part of the three-dimensional educational program, which was sponsored by Junior Achievements of Georgia, and his leadership has been recognized by his class in the case challenge for the Nexus Lexus program. Along with his academic achievements, Ahmad has been playing soccer for over 12 years and is now a certified referee. He's also um, gonna give me some pointers on how to play soccer. He helped his community by volunteering with the Door Family Services, ICNA Relief, and is very active in the Young Muslims of America. Congratulations. Our next honoree is Isha Sadiq, a black belt in karate and a member of his school's drum line. It's a relief. Um, he has the same exciting commitment needed for martial arts, such as percussion and the academics in, in his community service. He has studied both Mandarin Chinese and Spanish. Along with AP and honor classes, he spends his summers mentoring younger students in STEM at Camp Invention. Camp Invention is where he also completed a leadership internship. 
In his summer, he is volunteering at McKenna Farms. That's a program that focuses on therapies for children with disabilities. He has also participated in the Roswell Community Masjid Uplift Program and is committed to encouraging others to join. Ensa was elated, I'm sorry, he was elected by the Linden Academy's first honoring king. So it is now my honor to introduce the Honorable Patty Garrett, Mayor of the City of Decatur and member of the ISB's Advisory Council to introduce our next honorees. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say when I was reading all of these um, amazing applications, the first thing I thought was, wow, wow, wow. Um, I'd also like to echo that um, I hope you do realize that you can absolutely have um, influence and a sphere of influence in your own community and your local area that you can influence policy and opportunities right around you. So um, kudos to all of you. I know we're all so proud of your accomplishments. So the next two honorees that I would like to introduce are Ashkarat Hassan. Ashkarat is the sophomore class president and immediate past freshman class president at Oglethorpe University, having entered after receiving an associate degree with a 4.0 GPA in criminal justice from Georgia State University. And she's the first in her family to earn a college degree. She's also starting her co-president term of the Muslim Student Association and is continuing to serve as Petrol Pro Proletariat's Vice President, a campus organization promoting socialist values. In addition, she is Oglethorpe University's Civic Engagement Scholar and interns at the Atlanta Volunteer Lawyers Foundation and its Safe and Stable Homes Program. An immigrant whose family lives in Clarkston, Asherat wants to become an attorney, be politically active so she can fight the injustices suffered by many people of color. Congratulations to you. Next, I would like to introduce Sultan Ziad. Instead of playing video games, Sultan watches the news and reads about current events. With a 4.2 GPA, he's a member of the National Honor Society and is close to completing the International Baccalaureate Dual Degree Career Program. And I know just how challenging that is. Focused on graphic design and architecture, he has taken or is taking all of the advanced level courses required for those fields. Sultan earned the NAACP National ACTSO Architecture Competition Silver Medal for his design of a quadruplex. The Sultan, an elevated lifestyle. He runs on the school's track team and competed at the state level. Sometimes, somehow, he has time to volunteer for the Atlanta Community Food Bank the Food Well Alliance and Truly Living Well. And he plans to use these architectural skills to create more equitable spaces and gardens to grow healthy communities. And I have to say he's also um, a Decatur High School senior class of 2022. So uh, congratulations. And I look forward to seeing you in person in Decatur one day soon. So uh, congratulations to both both of the honorees that I had the privilege of introducing. So next, I would like to pass it on and turn the program over to Conrado Marian Lande. He is the diversity and inclusion manager at the Georgia Power Company and ISB advisory council member to introduce the next two honorees. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. You know, this is Conrado Mario Lande. And I guess as we're thinking about, we're celebrating exceptional young people today for their achievements and their leadership. Just thinking about how leadership comes in many flavors. 
And often leadership is all about showing up and pitching in to do what needs to be done to help others. It's about being intentional, about having a positive impact and making a difference, about working to make the world a better place due to one's presence, due to one's actions, due to one's care. Today, it's my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce two such leaders, two young people who have taken this opportunity to step in and step up. My first introducee is Har Haris Ahmed. We know that the pandemic has been difficult and that many people are struggling. And for Haris, this has been an impetus to break out of his comfort zone and master his fears to provide meals for those people in need. Haris was recognized by the Stratford Academy in, in Macon as the senior with the most cumulative community service hours in his class. He was featured in Macon Magazine's Good Doers. He was recognized as a Daily Points of Light Award and was nominated for the United Way of Central Georgia's Golden Eagle Award for Citizenship. He is a math and science tutor and mentor, past president of the chess club, and had a summer job in a lab in Mercer University. Harris is the type of person who can talk to anybody, and he hopes that his love of service will inspire young people to act. Congratulations, Harris. Also like to introduce my second nominee, my second introducee, and she's second only because of the alphabet. I would like to introduce to you to Fatima Safdar. Fatima is an effective and award-winning communicator, yearbook editor, news anchor for the Mustang News Team, and a story writer, public speaker, and essay writer. She is active in the Red Cross and UNICEF club at her school and coordinates the youth group at Roswell Community Majib, setting up programs including a food drive in partnership with North Fulton Community Charities, a road cleanup event, and a pen palling program with nursing home residents. And get this, all while maintaining a 4.0 GPA. Fatima has been awarded an achievement certificate in Spanish, won an ISB essay contest in 2016, participated in the governor's honors program, and won second place for Quranic recitation in her division at the Muslim Interscholastic Tournament of Atlanta. She's still open to career options, and she knows that she will work for the benefit of as many people as possible. So congratulations, and congratulations to both of you. I'm honored to, to recognize you. And now I'm pleased to pass the Zoom baton to my fellow ISB Advisory Council member, Greg Cole, Executive Director of Emma's House, to introduce our next honorees. Thank you, Conrado, and thank you everybody for being here. It's such a tremendous honor and privilege to share in this great day and to honor these amazing 20 people. Um, really appreciate um, Nabil's words about humility and uh, contrasting that with false humility. And when I think about leadership, I think about people who uh, are clear about their values, um, values that are informed by their faith and who live out those values in, in everything they do. And I, I know that these students are, um, are doing that. And I encourage you to continue to think about what you value most in life and how that can be reflected in your day-to-day -day lives. So I have two people, of course, to honor today. And I'm very excited about that. The first is uh, Salah El Geyer. To be elected to the Georgia 4-H State Board of Directors, Salah spent countless hours volunteering with kids in STEM and robotics, helping at farm to fork day camps and staying at Rock Eagle overnight camp. He placed second in the 2021 Dean's Award STEM category, the highest award in 4-H. Salah is also an active volunteer at his local mosque, setting up for Eid, helping on Juma, gathering food and supplies for refugees during Ramadan for delivery during Eid. Being homeschooled has provided him with the flexibility to en engage in and explore his extracurricular interests while maintaining good grades. So congratulations, Salah. I also have the privilege of introducing Zaina Murray. Zaina received a college degree, get this, before she received her high school diploma. On May 11th, she graduated from Georgia State University with an associate's degree in science 
Then on May 20th, she graduated from high school, both with the highest academic honors. Pretty impressive. While at GSU, she remained active in her school's UNICEF and Beta Club. At the request of a GSU professor, she also tutored students in biology, lectures, and labs. Taking a global approach to world hunger, Zainab founded the nonprofit Food for All to raise awareness about food scarcity. An amazing accomplishment. And knowing that hard work brings many rewards, Zainab will enter GSU's Honors College this fall. Congratulations, Zena. Now it's my pleasure to ask Jill Savitt, CEO of the National Center for Civil and Human Rights, and another member of the ISB Advisory Council to introduce the next honorees. Hello. I am so delighted to be here. Thanks so much for inviting me to participate. Um, one of the things that strikes me about our, our honorees today is that they have such drive and ambition, but it is really geared toward humanity and compassion. And I just think that is so impressive. And I wanna give a special shout out to the moms and dads on the, uh, here with us today. You just must be so unbelievably proud and feel like I do, which is very bullish about our future. So I, like everyone else, have two people to introduce. Um, our, my first honoree to introduce is Noor Khalifa. Jill, would you turn on your camera, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you for letting me know. Um, uh, sorry. So uh, Noor Khalifa is my first uh, honoree to introduce. Dean's List. Governor's Honors Program, National Honor Society, National Society of High School Scholars, University of Pennsylvania Book Award, Wesleyan College Book Award, 2022 Georgia Certificate of Merit. Those are just a few of the honors, awards, and recognitions Noor has received before her senior year at the Atlanta Girls School. She is also on the varsity soccer, cross country, and basketball teams named captain of all three and has won several championships. She plays the violin, co-created a new campus club, Leadership AGS, to understand urban problems, and co-founded the school's first student-led newspaper, The Laurel Leaf. Noor is a multifaceted realist with an artist's eye, and she is certainly on the path to making the world a better place by leading the way. Congratulations, Noor. My second honoree is Nail Manzoor. Becoming a Hafiz, that's someone who has memorized the Quran, set Nail on the path of accomplishment. He did that when he was 12 years old. He is often reminded by his mother before a big test that if he could memorize the Quran, there's no other worldly test he couldn't beat. He graduated from high school at the top of his class as an AP scholar after nine AP courses which led to numerous scholarships for college. A self-proclaimed extrovert, Nail excelled as peer leader, receiving a leadership medal along with other honors at graduation. Having leadership roles in several school clubs, he continued the tradition of hosting food drives to support homeless shelters. Nail plans to study business at GSU with the hope of going to law school. And I'm sure all of us can't wait to see what Nail does. I am now passing the stage, the podium, over to Dr. Tommy Welsh, the Chief Equity and Compliance Officer of the Gwinnett County Public Schools and a fellow member of the ISB Advisory Council for our next introductions. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here today uh, throughout this uh, introduction of the wonderful uh, youth. I've heard a lot of students uh, from Gwinnett County Public Schools. So it is my pleasure to introduce or, and to meet several of the, our youth today. Uh, but most importantly, I, I like to send a special congratulations to all of you that I hear uh, from Gwinnett County. So it is my pleasure to support and introduce uh, two of our wonderful honorees today. I'll start first uh, with Abiha Abati. At seven years old, Abiha rebelled 
uh, by embracing and wearing the traditional hijab. She surprised her family by choosing to wear the hajib. And despite some pushback, has done so ever since. An outstanding student, she has completed the Governor's Honors Program and was named to the National AP as an AP Scholar. She has won first place in the Gwinnett Science and Engineering Innovation Fair. As well, she's attended the Dartmouth Bounds. It's a program where highly qualified high school seniors from historically underrepresented backgrounds had the opportunity to pre preview college. In her spare time, she volunteers at Emory Hospital and the Red Cross, where she educates the Muslim community on the importance of blood donation. She plans to move on to an undergraduate degree in biomedical engineering, and then on to a medical school, where she hopes to be a practicing physician. It's my pleasure to introduce you, and I, I wish you well. Congratulations, Abiha. The next person that I have the joy of introducing is Ayan Yunus, a devout Muslim who is in studying both at his Islamic seminary and at the Gwinnett Technical College. Ayan is humble to a fault. He is a, a Hazfiz. He's learned to memorize the entire Quran. He has been teaching at the as a, in Islamic schools and included in, as well as the Majid, as well as uh, moving forward some of the summer intensive classes. He is currently teaching a summer class in the Gwinnett Islamic Center, where he occasionally is asked to lead Joma and to fill in for the Amma. Ayan plans to serve the Muslim community in the Atlanta area for a religious perspective, he, can, he recognizes that there is a lot to be done and hopes to contribute as much as he can. Ayan, I thank you for the great things that you've done and I look forward to the wonderful things that you'll continue to do. For both of you, I say congratulations. And at this time, I'll pass it on now to Ann Kramer, the Senior Consultant at Cox Curry and Associates, and also a wonderful member of the ISB Advisory Council, also one of Atlanta's most outstanding leaders. And I pass the mic to you. Oh, Tommy, thank you so much. I am humbled to be here today. And like you and all the presenters, absolutely in awe of these extraordinary 20 under 20. And I hope that as you've heard um, from those of us that have a few more years on you, in fact, decades, that you feel as you are being honored today, that you do are based on those foundational values, are willing to take risks and even go out of those comfort zones. At the same time, what I have loved hearing about each of you is that you're modeling the way for those who are your peers, those who are younger, and indeed for those of us who are older. So thank you and congratulations. And I get, I'm so excited to present two amazing young people. First is Shukrat Adesina, and she is a very proud being of one of the few Muslim Beta Club officers within the whole state of Georgia. She's a rising 11th grader and has been recognized for her academic excellence with nearly a dozen awards, including invitations to NSLC and the governor's honors. And she's a part of the Cobb County CTAE Student of the Year nominee under technology. And she has won the honors of Rural Literature Award. Along with her academic success, this is not all, her leadership is within the Beta Club, she is involved as a student ambassador, is on the FIRST Robotics, yay, and a member of the Health Occupation Students of America. Shukrat Dean dreams of helping people to fulfill her purpose in the world. Indeed, she is on that journey. Congratulations, Shukrat, we're so proud. <laughs> Secondly, Usman, Usman Rashad. For Usman, it is important to be available to anyone who needs to talk. I love this. 
through Boy the Ball, he connects with underserved families, goes door to door offering tutoring, and he brings assistance with immigration papers or just a listening ear. He is currently dual enrolled at Alpha Academy and current at Georgia Gwinnett College, taking a full load of coursework, including AP classes, and guess what? Earning only a 4.75 GPA. He's a leader in the National Honor Society, participating in service projects and volunteering with the Red Cross. Usman is particularly proud of competing and completing the memorization of the Quran as well and is always ready to lead prayers when asked. He hopes to build a more equitable society by making resources available to students through mentoring and tutoring programs. Congratulations, Usman, you are indeed a role model. Thanks. It is now my delight to introduce someone that you have met before. Again, another member of our ISD Board of Directors and a civil engineer who's a principal in a local firm. It is Amin Tumay. Take it away. Thanks. Thank you very much, Anne. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce to you two members of the ISB's 20 under 20 notables, uh, Karim El Gayar and Noor Fong. They, like their colleagues, who are honored here today demonstrate that the path that their parents, their caregivers and larger community has set them on has the winning formula. So I implore all of them to hold on with all of their might and reciprocate by nourishing others and by honoring those who have nourished them. So without further ado, allow me to tell you a little bit about Kareem first. As co-captain of his first tech challenge team and SASH Monkey Wrench Robotics, Kareem sees his future in robotics. The main builder of his small homeschooled robotics team, which consistently outperforms teams with more resources, he hopes that his enthusiasm sparks an interest in other young people to explore robotics and STEM. He's also a passionate volunteer delivering and serving meals with ICCA, helping refugees, tutoring and mentoring younger children, and is active in 4-H. Kareem achieved the highest individual score at the 2021 Georgia 4-H Wildlife Judging Competition and will represent the entire state of Georgia at the 2021 National 4-H Wildlife Competition. Congratulations, Kareem. It's my pleasure to recognize you. Now, moving on to Noor Fong, a Chinese Egyptian American high achiever. Noor was accepted by Georgia State University at the age of 15, making the Dean's List uh, her first semester. Now, duly enrolled at both GSU and the William and Reed Academy. She's a member of the robotics team, is the official artist for the school newspaper, attended a hacking camp sponsored by the NSA, and is in the Rising Star program at SCAD. Noor has volunteered with the YMCA, the Packaged Good, Islamic Relief, and trained as a speaker for the Islamic Speakers Bureau. Noor's artwork recently received high honors at the middle and high school art exhibition hosted by the Johns Creek Arts Center. Congratulations, Noor. We're very proud of you. Congratulations to everybody. And now I'd like to turn it over to Ahmed. Thank you, Amin. Wow, I'm really blown away by all of this talent and I'm really humbled uh, by these amazing 20 young men and women. Congratulations again to all of you and welcome to the ISB family. We hope this is only the beginning of our association with each other. There are lots of opportunities to stay involved uh, from our annual gala to networking opportunities and volunteer opportunities. We hope that we will stay in touch and we will connect with you after this event. 
I would like also to have uh, to say a very special thanks to our presenters. The ISB is really fortunate to have these remarkable community leaders on our board and our advisory council. So thank you. Now, before we turn uh, on the microphones so that we can all cheer, I would like first to uh, invite Imam Pleman El Amin to give us concluding prayers. And then after that, we will unmute the microphones so that we can all cheer. Imam Pleman, can you please give us concluding prayers? Okay. Um, hope you can hear me. I, for whatever reason, I can't. Uh, you need to release me if to turn on the video. I can't get the video on. Uh, says I need to uh, host, needs to clear my video. But anyway. We, we can hear you, Imam. We won't worry about the video. So let me, let me say also congratulations to everyone. Uh, and I want to make uh, mention of three things. Uh, the, the spirit that we, the ISB did this is uh, in a verse in Quran that we also want you, the 20 of you to have, uh, to be conscious of that spirit. God says, let there arise out of you a concerned and committed group of informed people in joining what is right forbidding what is wrong and believing in God and not fearing the criticisms of the criticizers. So that, that, that was the spirit in which we came to that. And also um, it's the spirit that we hope that you embrace. The two other things that, that you are, this peer group that we have connected you with is extraordinary uh, peer group that we hope that you can follow up, uh, that you can, we hope that you can follow up with them and uh, uh, embrace these young people that many of you probably hadn't met, but they are your peers. And the third thing is uh, not only did we put together a wonderful group of presenters, they are well established. And now each of you uh, have a connection with people that are professors, mayors, entrepreneurs, uh, uh, shakers, movers and shakers in this metropolitan area. So you can take advantage of that. You know who introduced you. Uh, they are open to you calling them, or texting them and, and establishing a relationship to get the advantage of their expertise as well. All right, so let us offer a prayer. Oh God, we ask that you guide us among those whom you have guided aright. Preserve us among those whom you have preserved. Befriend us among those who you have befriended. And bless these special 20 under 20 to fully appreciate and utilize all of the talents and blessings that you have bestowed upon them. Strengthen their resolve, deepen their commitment, broaden their involvement, expand their hearts, fully engage their minds, purify their aspirations, and fulfill their souls, and help them against any who reject faith. To you belong the power, to you belong the wisdom, and you have power over all things. Amen. 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 Congratulations. May I ask now to unmute all the microphones and let us all Celebrate, congratulate, and woohoo. Congratulations. Congratulations. So inspiring. Very inspiring. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much again, everyone. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Take Bye. care. <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations. Salam alaikum. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wa alaikum assalam. Have a great weekend. Congratulations. <laughs>